And so as you can see on the main screen we've also got some fixed buttons at the bottom as well so no matter what screen you're in you've always got those fixed same sets of buttons at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, the first one on the corner here on the right hand corner is the cube menu which you saw a minute ago and the one next to it is the multitasking menu so you can switch between any different applications that you've got open uh, and close individual apps that you didn't realize that were open before uh, or you can just end all apps just to free up some uh, working memory to do something else. Uh, the first button along this row of four here is the dial pad uh, and from here you can look at your recent history or you can speed dial voicemail or set speed dials to numbers two to nine uh, and next to that we have the contacts menu so again you can just go straight and look at your contacts contact images is displayed and you can uh, favorite them as you can see with a little star next to the name there and just dial them directly from this without actually going into the contact uh, you can also search contacts with the search bar at the top or add a new contact uh, or you can view contacts by groups and favorites as well so it's a pretty nice uh, menu system for the contacts menu, pretty easy to use uh, next we've got the messaging which is specific to SMS and MMS messages it uh, doesn't include emails in this particular screen uh, and again you can just look at all your different inboxes at the top of this tab uh, or even view your messages in a threaded view which is quite nice um, so it's pretty handy and pretty easy to use again uh, nice threaded view a bit like sort of all the new phones are coming out with now um, email is actually in the next menu as you can see here is the uh, menu button at the bottom brings up the usual uh, S class horizontally scrollable menu and you can see the email is actually separate from messaging uh, in the communications part so the main menu is split into four groups communications entertainment utilities and settings uh, and each one can be scrolled across horizontally back and forth like that uh, or you can just plot the phone on its side like previous S class devices and you can see it's uh, given us a nice horizontal view with slightly smaller icons so that all the icons fit on the screen at once and then the categories down the side there so it's a pretty nice looking thing, you can see the screen is very very vivid uh, great colours and great deep blacks as well which is quite nice uh, so I'm just going to move on and show you the movie playback now because that's pretty impressive as well right, so as you can see we've now got a movie up onto the screen I'm just in portrait view at the moment with it paused um, as you can see it's pretty small uh, if we flip the phone on its side it'll automatically rotate you can see it's much much bigger now, it just uses uh, the whole screen uh, and we can actually just tap on this display here for a few options select a bit later in the film here uh, and you can really appreciate the size of the display now it really does look really good uh, of course this phone has Dolby Mobile as well so you can uh, get pretty decent sound from it and uh, use your own headphones courtesy of the 3.5mm uh, audio port as you can see the screen does look very very nice uh, no black bars on the top or bottom or either edge uh, and you can also, as you can hear at the moment, use the sound from the speaker built in as well, which is pretty cool. So the LG BR40 isn't just good at video. Uh, being a multimedia handset, it's also pretty decent at music as well. Obviously you've got the 3.5mm headphone port that uh, we mentioned earlier on. And it's also got Bluetooth A2DP as well for uh, a set of stereo Bluetooth headphones to be connected. Um, you can view music by uh, tracks, favourites, artists, albums, genres or playlists. So if we just pick artists, we can uh, see an alphabetical view of uh, all the different artists that have loaded on. We can just pick one, pick a track, and the track instantly opens up directly in the actual playlist, and you can uh, change the volume using the volume keys on the side here, which is pretty neat. Um, you get your album art view, you also get some visualizations in the background, and there's sort of a, a handful of preset uh, different visualizations that you can choose from. And you can even select to uh, set the track as a favorite, using the little star at the side or turn the uh, Dolby Mobile uh, sound customization on and off which is pretty cool um, or you can just keep going on through your list find another track that you might want to listen to and tap on that so it's pretty neat um, you can also flip the phone on its side like you can in the video player uh, and you can view the music player on its side in the uh, landscape view and you can just flick through you've got all the different sort of CDs and you just pick one there and it'll just start spinning it for you as if it's a CD player pretty neat little interface um, and if you come out of that, you can also just leave it running in the background. So you've got just this little play icon at the top here, uh, just to tell you that it's still playing. You can hear it's still playing, um, and you can just look at it in the multitasking menu to go back to it, which is pretty neat. Um, if you come out as well, you can even turn the screen off and carry on with it in your pocket, just going. And then when you reactivate the screen, you can see it actually tells you the uh, artist and track that's playing here, which is pretty nice. So if we just uh, open that up, we can go straight back to it. And you're straight back in.
A little hidden extra that LG don't tend to mention much on their website is the fact that the BL40 actually has a GPS receiver as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and in the games and applications uh, folder here, if you just pop into apps, you can see we've got Google Maps and a, a program called Wise Pilot for LG. We've just opened that up. It's actually a full satellite navigation program, and you can uh, show a full map, and it'll actually um, allow you to navigate via car or by foot or however you want to navigate. So we'll just let that load up a second. And so as you can see, it's all loaded up, and you get this traditional sort of uh, sat nav screen view, which is quite nice. Um, and you can pause navigation, show an itinerary, you can change the colours out uh, to night colours. All the main sort of uh, settings that you get on a normal sat nav you can generally find on here. Um, I mean there's even a speed camera alerts thing uh, and obviously it just uses the GPS to uh, navigate. So it's pretty handy, you can uh, make a call during the actual navigation and view reports and things or just view the map if you don't actually want to uh, navigate. So it's pretty neat. Um, doesn't seem to be able to find GPS very well inside at the moment. We've not tested it outside yet. Um, but it looks like it could be quite handy and it's got all different status information at the bottom here for you. Um, so great little application really to have hidden in there uh, unexpectedly. One new neat feature on the uh, new chocolate BR40 is the ability to control the phone by making gestures in the lock screen. As you can see if we draw across the lock screen we get a uh, line that follows our finger. You can actually draw different gestures, like if I draw a C, uh, it'll actually notify this a C, and then say it will take us into the contacts. This is all customizable, so you can change it as you see fit. Um, for example, we can also draw an M, uh, which will take us into messaging. There we go. I'll open up at the SMS, and then you can customize. For example, I've set um, uh, drawing a triangle will take us into the gallery, so if I just draw a little triangle. Notifies the triangle and takes us straight to the gallery. Whilst we're in the gallery, I can just show you a few neat features here as well. If we just flip the phone on its side, we get this uh, nice gallery view, and we can just um, look through various different days by swiping up on the display here. Uh, if we just move to one with some photos in, you can see we could just swipe through all our photos, a bit like cover flow, really, on the uh, iPhone. And then we can just pick a photo and zoom in on it like that. So it's a pretty neat little gallery in here as well. Um, the camera itself isn't that great. Uh, it's a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, so it's not too bad. Um, but the photo quality leaves a little bit to be desired. Okay, so the last feature I'm going to show you on the new Chocolate BR40 is uh, LG's new split screen UI system. So if you just pop into either the email inbox or the SMS inbox that we have here and flip the phone on its side, then you get this split screen view. On the left hand side you've got uh, all your different messages from the inbox and on the right hand side you've got the actual content of those messages. So if we just select a message, you can actually read the message without having to properly open it uh, full screen, which is pretty neat. Obviously in the email inbox this allows you to scroll through on the right hand side and read an email whilst keeping your message inbox static on the left. Or you can search through your message inbox whilst you keep an email up on the right. So it's a pretty neat little system, makes it a lot easier to find those messages that are hidden halfway through your inbox. Anyway, that's the new uh, LG New Chocolate BL40. Uh, pretty decent um, multimedia phone if you like watching movies and listening to music on your phone. Uh, if you'd like to see any more information on this phone, you can check out our review on mobileburn.com. Uh, so I've been Russ Jeffers. Thanks for watching.